Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. Just for my announcements, I just created a new BitChute channel as a backup to all my videos that I posted on YouTube. So that way you get to watch every single video that I have in case, you know, something goes wrong. So here's the link down below. Just click on it, subscribe to me, and Hopefully you'll be able to save, you know, add favorites, do whatever you want, you know, and maybe click like, so that way you'll be able to enjoy watching these uh, awesome videos here and there. Yeah, the main reason why I'm doing this is because, what else, YouTube is dealing with their stupid problems, with their, their laws that they have. You know, it's even worse than those copyright laws or or worse those fair use laws that's that's going on and all this other problems that we have with the adpocalypse or several changes and several rules that we have to suffer. Now we have YouTube against uh, FTC that created the, the COPPA law which is Child Online Program Protection Act. Yeah, it it's been around since 1998. It's where they they wanted to follow the protection for the internet for they want to follow the protection for kids who go on the internet, so that way they won't have to go into one of those websites that causes a lot of uh, danger. You know, because there have been a lot of that, too. So it, it was for the parents to actually monitor their kids, you know, for, for their safety. I know. And I, I know we've been dealing with this a lot, too. Even with the Internet, with, with net neutrality and SOPA, PIPA, and all that. And just to be safe, I mean, I, I had to back up my channel so that way, you know, nothing goes wrong. I mean, I prayed that nothing happens by the time January 2020 starts, because that's what they're going to do this. But who knows, maybe, maybe we'll be lucky, I don't know. But I just prayed that I'll still be on YouTube and... I know I'm going to be there for a long time no matter what happens. It just keeps happening these days. You know, I, as you know, I started my channel in 2006. I discovered YouTube. It, it was like a, a new website that I didn't expect to see where you get to do anything you want. You have the freedom to choose. You get to create your own channel. You get to post a lot of videos, you even create your own image, you even create your own backgrounds and avatars and information, all of that stuff that you love. I mean, it's just amazing what you can do with this website. I mean, yeah, they did start to change a little bit um, during that year where you had to post a video and you had to split it into parts, which to me is kind of annoying. You know, like, you have to post, like, 11 minutes per video. Those, but that depends on all these accounts that they have. Like, they have the director's account. They have the comedian account. They have those other, the, the musician accounts and all these other ones that they created. The director's account is the one where you get to post a full video. Yeah, which I wish I had that account at the time. Now instead I had to click to Comedian, and that's where, again, I had to post them halfway, where I had to add TV shows like, for example, um, The Adventures of a Little Koala, or Mapletown, Grimm's Fairy Tale Classics, yeah, even the Macaulay Knights, yeah, all these shows. I was mostly doing those, uh, along with some logos and some commercial breaks here and there. 
I didn't post any movie reviews though, or any uh, videos uh, of myself, because <laughs> I didn't feel like it. I feel like this was the only way I had to choose, and yeah, and my first channel was Joko85. Yeah, so that was me. But then I got suspended in 2007 on February because of the issue with Biacom versus uh, YouTube. Yeah, also because this was after you know YouTube bought. This was after Google bought them out, which they did bought them in 2006. So this was around that time. I got suspended because of this issue with Biacom. Because half of my shows I posted were copyrighted by Biacom. They were taking down all these videos. I, I tried to re-upload them. I tried to take out the tags. No such luck. And the next thing you know, even though I was posting some movie clips of other films or any other, yep, they took my channel down. That sucks. And then I had to move on with other stuff too, with other websites like Live Video, Daily Motion, Vimeo, so Zippy Videos, Ning.com, or any other. Sadly, they weren't working out, or or they've been shut down. Most of their website have been shut down. So, I've been spending the whole entire year trying. I've been spending like a couple years just trying to find a better website and hoping to stay on for a very long time. Of course, even when I was on Facebook and all that, which I signed up in 2010, half of my friends were begging me to come back to YouTube because, you know, they were, things were being pretty lonely. So I figured, you know, why well, take the risk? You know, I figure I'll just go back starting in May of that year because I just had a new um, computer which is my Dell Espeon which is my Dell Inspiron yeah. so now I had to use my Google account because I can't use my Yahoo they don't let me I know that sucks I had to create my own username for it so that way I could sign on and Ever since then, even though I was at Inclusion Films at the time, you know, I didn't have time to post any videos, but I started to post them later on. And it's been that way ever since. It was a lot of work, but something has to be done. I had to use a webcam for that <laughs> until I started to get my digital camera for my birthday. <laughs> and it's been that way ever since. But then I had to go both ways because I figured... Yeah, I just want to save some time. Nowadays, I'm just recording all the videos with my digital camera. Which, that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, which is the Sony uh, Cybershot. It's called Zeiss. <laughs> yes. That's because I had to add a backup channel. This is just like two years ago with... Um, where I had to sign up for Bid Me because that was a new website that sad to say didn't last that long when they announced that they were going to shut it down I was like oh great there goes another good channel that I had to save <sighs> yeah because of the of YouTube's algorithms with uh, Apocalypse you know everybody's having problems you know with their ads and you know they're not getting paid much and really screwing up all the content creators around. Now I know I don't post any ads on my videos. I don't, I don't monetize. I mean I because I know everyone's going to start feeling very bad when they're all getting demonetized for their their big channels and it's too much. And I, I don't want to suffer that problem. So lucky for me, you know, I'm hoping I'd be safe. But I've been posting movie reviews for a long time. You know, um, 
my reviews is exactly what we expected. Yes, I do slip up with foul language that I speak. You know, I, I curse through all these videos. You know, like I, I said the F word or or I do say the S word, the A word or whatever language I have to speak. Um, but I only say it within a sentence. Um, so yeah, most of the reviews I posted are either family movies or or action films or any uh, drama or animated films or independent movies or whatever it is. Even the the Peanuts specials and and movies that I've done and they're meant for kids or for families and stuff. But sometimes yes, I do slip out. But I don't want nothing bad to happen to my channel, okay? Just because they're not exactly what we expect, okay? And I sure as hell do not want to delete half of those videos because of that. That's because that's going to be a problem. I love doing these videos. I mean, they're fun. You know, you want to have the freedom to do whatever you want. The the because the worst, but that's not the worst part. The worst part is is that they're going to find you for forty-two, or at this rate, over forty-two thousand dollars, which to me is stupid. Incredibly stupid. Because it's not kid friendly content. I mean, that's not fair. So now we have to pay the price over uh, YouTube stupidity. When they're the ones that are supposed to pay it. That's their company, man. It's a corporate company that they should choose. Now we have to suffer from other websites like that they keep posting. You know, everything has to be about politics, you know, all political agenda. With SJWs that won't leave us alone. I'm sick and tired of them. Always, you know, making our lives miserable. And then we have to deal with these Me Too Act, this hashtag Me Too um, situation. And they're not doing a good job with that either. Or, goodness knows, I mean, what they do. Any of those clickbait channels that we have. Where everyone has to act like a moron, and they're starting to dumb down everyone with these stupid articles. I, I'm, I see this all the time. It just won't stop. Yes, and yeah, there's even videos where people are starting to cyber bully everyone. If anything else, why can't it go after those guys? I mean, those are the ones who are are creating problems. We don't do this stuff. And I'm glad, you know, there are people out there who don't do this stuff. Especially me. You know, I, I post something uh, that's actually fun to do. And, and it, hey, you know, at least I bring in some more friends to join. Think of it this way, though. You know, I started becoming friends with everybody on YouTube. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't even know who these guys were. Think about that. I mean, yes, I even uh, started adding channels to... Yeah, I even started to um, subscribe to everyone, too. Like, I even subscribed to other, um, you know, big channels because I love them so much. Like, I do subscribe to Chris Stuckman, or... I even subscribe to Cinemassacre, which is James Wolfe's channel, you know, where he has AVGN, you know, rental reviews and all that stuff. Also, um, Red Letter Media, yeah, where I get to watch all the guys, you know, chatting around, having fun, do those random videos, yeah, and of course, I know McCoy Colgan joins in sometimes, which I also subscribe to his channel called Bunny Ears, so that's nice, and then there's other stuff that I love to find, plus, I was friends, and still am, with uh, guys like Brendan Mitchell, aka Web Movie One. His friend Gabriel McCano, aka Hero Super 99. Also, Chauncey Phillips, uh, 
Cool Duder himself. I'm also friends with um, other smaller channels, even ones that does a lot of movie reviews or any of this other stuff, like for example, Ramograph for Life, that's Matt Ruler, his friend Mike Brown, OCP Communications, and Jonathan Lindsay, and his own channel that he has, or any of their friends that they got. Even my friends uh, from Inclusion Films that came to YouTube, uh, they came up with their own channels. Hell, um, I even did a Q&A with my friend Quinn along with Robbie. So, hey, if it wasn't for that, what else could I do? I mean, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't even know who they are. Think about that. But of course, I have signed up for other channels, um, mostly you know ones that have closing logos or studio logos of any kind, or even um, ones that have commercial breaks, and even uh, yeah, some commercial breaks from the 70s, 80s, 90s, even ones for today's too. Uh, there's um, some of the Los Angeles stuff that's on there as well. Some pay TV, uh, cable, satellite stuff, you know, like channels of HBO, Cinemax, the Louis Channel, um, Showtime, the Dizzy Channel, Nickelodeon, or <laughs> TBS, TNT. I mean, you get all these cable networks that you have. Like, they have promos, commercials, and stuff from back in the day. You know, and Select TV on TV and all that. Yeah, those. You know what I'm talking about. I mean, I, I always love to check out those channels and I always love to even find them myself, you know? You know, because I, I do find a lot of stuff on the internet and I started to post them on my own channel. You know, so that way people will actually see it for themselves. That's what I love about it, man. You get all the freedom you want. You get to do whatever you want. But with all these laws that they keep spreading, it just keeps getting worse. It just makes the, the website even better. And I'm trying to do my best to have more subscribers, too, because so far I have like over 600. And I'm waiting for it to go up to 700 or even more. I'm even hoping that this new channel that I just created will actually get tons of subscribers and everything. So as long as I start posting as many as I can, then, well, it's going to be a lot of work. So I guess for the course of um, two months and even more, I'm going to try to post all the videos that I have on YouTube and translate it to my channel, BitChute. Okay? So uh, that way I'll be safe. I'll still be posting movie reviews and all this other stuff on YouTube. I'll be there for a long time, no matter what happens. But in case, you know, if something goes wrong, then, then that's all it takes. Of course, I do have some issues with BitChute for a while when I started this. Was that, you know, the video processing does take really long, and so is their uploads. But after a while, you know, once it's done, you know, it'll be able to show up and it'll be okay. You also have to put show video too. So it'll be able to show up. That's what I noticed. You can also take off the comments too if you don't want it. You can do anything. So, anyway, that's my announcement um, for the Bitchy channel. Sorry I'm taking so long, but I had to explain it, what's going on. But I'll be around. I'll never give up. Never surrender. <laughs> yeah, using a quote from Galaxy Quest. Hey, I mean, Charlie Brown never gave up. You know, he, he had a lot of failures, but he continued so he can succeed better. And that's what I'm doing. So, anyway, I'm Joseph A. Sabora. Stay tuned for other videos coming up, and I'll see you later.